Hey Tim, how's it going? Pretty good. All right, so you're you're Michigan guy, right? Yep, born and raised. Okay, are you like are you a Wolverine? Very much. You yeah. Have Spartan. Yep. How, how, which one are we closer to right now? Oh, uh, we're about 20 minutes from Ann Arbor, which is the U of M. Okay. And Lansing is Michigan State, right? Yes. And, and that's not that far away. Hour. Nope, not even. It's an hour the opposite direction. Do you hate their guts? No. Okay. Uh, do you hate them more or Ohio State more? Ohio State, for sure. Okay. Yeah. Like, that's that's what I get from, yeah. I mean, I'm from the SEC country, like, you know, where real football is. And so we hear about uh, we hear about this, this you know, uh, Michigan and Ohio State thing. So is that like a real it deal? Is. One of my close buddies that I went to school with uh, is from Ohio. So his whole family is uh, Cleveland, Ohio yeah. State fans, the Browns. And uh, he wears all the outfits, the hat, the shirt, the U of M everywhere. Or everywhere we go, the Ohio State stuff. And he gets slack all the time. And he's my buddy, and uh, we're always out there together while he's getting harassed by U of M people. And I'm like, oh, it's fine. He's really a U of M fan at heart, but he just wears all this red <laughs> all the time. But, yeah, it's a real thing. Okay. All right, so um, before disc golf, how, how old were you when you started disc golf? I started 2009, so okay. probably around 18. All right, so, so what were you up to before that? What were you doing in junior high, high school? I played every single sport pretty much you yeah. can think of. Um, high school, I played football, baseball, basketball all the weird things I did like bowling, okay, um, lacrosse, a lot of them actually, soccer. Yeah. But before that, my biggest thing was probably skateboarding. Okay. That was my life for like seven years before I picked up a frisbee. There's actually a lot of disc golfers who used to be way into skateboarding, like like really, really good. Yeah, it's kind of they like go hand to hand, I guess. Why? Um, I think it's just the style of person maybe. Yeah. So like out doing stuff you like to do and it's not a team sport. They're both individual things right. that you can just build out on your own at any time, anywhere. Sure. Okay. So that's a good that's point. I think it is. Um, so we've got this. We've got this picture. What is this? Is this a bass? Like this is a pretty nice fish oh, you yeah. got here. Um, uh, little water pond at one of my old relatives' houses. Uh, we used to go fishing. We like to fish a lot. Whenever we're on tour and we have some free time, mm -hmm. we just find a nearby lake and go cast some lines in. It's just a fun thing to do to pass time. Is that is that like how you re relax after a round, or is it really just is it is it a competitive thing for you, or is no. it a uh, man? I just want to only competitive just, just take when a nap John, when John Perry's around. Okay. Other than that, we just do it for fun. Uh, my grandpa got me into it when I was a little kid, yeah. and uh, it's just a random thing to do here and there for fun. Okay, so like, did you, you used to go out with your grandpa all the time? Yeah, both of my grandparents actually yeah. um, were really big into it. It's kind of like a grandson grandpa thing to do. Sure. So that's what we did. Yeah, you got some good memories of, of sitting out for hours and hours yeah, with Grandpa? Definitely. It was cool. My actually, uh, my Grandpa had a uh, lost his arm in the war, so he had a little hook from one of his hands, and uh, he had all these attachments made for his reels to go along with his <laughs> hook, so he was out there fishing. I just remember all of that stuff. That's awesome. <laughs> it was pretty weird, but I mean, not awesome that he lost his arm, but right. awesome that like he had all of these like cool gadgets he on did. the end. I would have th liked the, the Inspector Gadget as my Grandpa. Like, right. that would have been exactly. so freaking yeah. awesome. Um, okay, so let's say we take it all away from you, all the disc golf away from you. How, how do you how do you make money? Like, what what do you want to do? What's your what are you passionate about outside of the sport? Other than disc golf, it'd be hard to say. I've given everything to disc golf the past yeah. about five years. Kind of left everything else behind. Um, family and friends is also very important to me. Yeah. Obviously, um, I don't know. I would probably picture myself doing something athletic or something physical. And helping people probably something like that or teaching or something like that is your is your family here in michigan also yes so if like if you had the chance to go anywhere you'd still stick around here in michigan most likely yes. yeah so um, i mean you're like like deep big blue guy like yeah, I, you love the state i do love this state very much i get uh, the past few years i've had plenty of opportunity to travel and see other yeah. places and i do really much like a lot of these other places i like arizona i like um going out on the east side and, but Michigan is pretty much where I see myself. There's nothing better than our summers here. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is the first time I've ever been in Michigan. So, I mean, this is, I'm, I'm not even, I don't think I'm a full day in Michigan yet. Oh, I mean, we're in a crazy heat spell right now. Which yes, is a little I bit intense, agree. But normally it's a little more comfortable than this. Yeah. Um, everything's crazy green. We yeah. have elevation, lakes, you yeah. name it. It's a great spot. Fantastic. Thank you very much for your time, Tim. Thank you.